Would you believe that one of the best mother critters found in many yards is this awesome creature, the female wolf spider? While we don't really think of bugs as being critters that care for their young, many species do, and the wolf spiders are a great example of parental care in the arthropod world. Let's take a quick look at how the amazing wolf spider lives and how the females care for their young. Although wolf spiders are among the largest spiders found in eastern North America, a trait that makes many people fear them, they are actually quite shy and would rather run from a threat rather than stand and fight. Many species spend the daylight hours tucked into burrows that they either dig themselves or have been made by other small critters or insects and have either been abandoned or the inhabitant was a meal for the wolf spider. In fact, unless you are actively looking for wolf spiders, you may not even realize they are around. Wolf spiders do not build a web to capture prey. Instead, they actively hunt down or ambush their quarry. Think of them as an eight-legged, fuzzy, multi-eyed, miniature tiger. Of course, their prey is sized accordingly, and the wolf spider feeds mainly on insects, including some larger species like grasshoppers, crickets, and katydids, and similar arthropods to themselves, such as other spiders, including the brown recluse. I figure that little factoid just converted some people to team wolf spider. A large female may on occasion eat a tiny lizard or frog, but this is the exception. If you love big fuzzy spiders, be sure to ambush that like button. As an active hunting species, wolf spiders have well-developed eyesight. They have a distinctive arrangement of eyes, eight total eyes in two horizontal rows with the center two eyes of the top row facing forward and being far larger than the other eyes. A wolf spider always looks like it is staring straight into your soul. Another cool trait of wolf spider eyes and many other night hunting species is that they have a tapetum, a specialized tissue layer behind the retina, which reflects light and makes their eyes shine a greenish glow at night, just like a deer. So when you take your flashlight and shine across the ground in the summer, all those little greenish specks that start glowing, those are all spiders. Awesome. If you've ever been out at night during the summer and shined a flashlight across the grass and seen tons of glowing spider eyes, let us know about it in the comments. And now we get to how many of those spiders with glowing eyes came to be. A female wolf spider will become quite plump after mating as her body produces eggs. When the time is right, she will make a silk mat onto which she will lay 100 to 300 round, whitish yellow eggs. After all the eggs are laid, the mother wolf spider will spin a cover over the eggs and form the bundle into an enclosed sack that she attaches to her spinnerets. She can now carry the egg sack wherever she goes and is careful to raise her abdomen so the egg sack is not being dragged over the ground. She will aggressively defend her egg sac and if somehow separated from it, will frantically search for it. When the eggs hatch and it's time for the young to emerge, sometimes the female will actually help them out by opening the egg sac with her fangs. The babies then climb up her legs and onto her back where they will ride along with mom for a couple of weeks or so. If one falls off, she will stop and wait for it to climb back on. She may provide pieces of prey for them to eat as they grow and gain the ability to fend for themselves. Once the young are capable of surviving on their own, they simply disperse and go their separate ways. Female wolf spiders truly are super moms. Maybe cute critters that eat leaves and look like real life Pokemon are more your cup of tea. If so, go watch this video and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.